Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yes, it's good. Hello, welcome to Jelly's Kitchen. Today I will show you uh, how to make uh, one of our comfort food. Uh, this kind of dish is good during rainy season or when you are under the weather. Um, the, it is called the rice uh, porridge with ox tripe. Uh, in Filipino, we call it goto. The ingredients we need for this dish are the ox tripe. Uh, we need to boil the ox tripe uh, twice. The first boiling is we need to discard the water and then um, rinse the ox tripe thoroughly with warm water. Then repeat the process for the second time of boiling. We also need two kinds of slices of ginger, the big slice and dice. Also, we need a few leaves of uh, bay leaves, uh, a teaspoon of saffron, uh, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, the rice. Here, there are two kinds of rice. One is long grain and the second one is the sweet rice. Uh, we need a one and a half cup of long grain and a half cup of sweet rice. Then you need to soak it while boiling the ox tripe. Next, we need uh, two heads of green onion for garnishing and pork rind. and the big slices of ginger again the reason of uh, adding the big slices so you can piece it out later one hour later after one hour of boiling the ox tripe we can add the soak rice into the pot okay as soon as it starts boiling we can add the rest of the ingredients and once in a while at this point you need to keep um, turning it so now um, We need to add the saffron. The saffron it will give a good uh, color. Pepper. And half of the diced uh, ginger. And uh, later I will show you um, why I'm only adding half of the nice ginger. This is my secret which I want to share it to you. And that will be at the end part of our cooking. Once in a while, we need to mix it. So at this point, after half an hour, of adding the rice, I think um, our uh, recipe is about done. This is how it looks. The texture should be how this is how it is. Okay, this is the secret I want to share to you. Um, I'm using a coconut oil to saute the leftover um, ginger 
and one leaves of the green onions. ginger we can add the salt into it you notice i add the the salt into the ginger not into the porridge and then after that it will look like this the ginger will look like this is brown and smells so good so my kitchen now smells really good so soothing because of the smell of the ginger and the mixture of the green onion so now we can pour, pour it into our porridge so this is done it's time to eat i also add um, quail boiled egg it so happen is available but usually you cannot find quail egg but i got just so lucky it's available in the store so i was able to add the quail egg but it's not really necessary this is only optional so now we are done cooking it's time to eat and find out how we did it to eat it's revealing time how did we do it okay um to garnish our goto uh, we have a, a ground pork rind green onion fried garlic calamansi with fish sauce or if you don't have calamansi you can use lemon I like the pork rind first. Then, I want the fried garlic on this side or all over because I like the fried garlic. And then last, to make it really prettier and colorful, is the green onions. The fish sauce is only like if you need more salt. Otherwise, you don't need the fish sauce. And not everyone likes the fish sauce anyway. Mm. Mm. This looks good. I hope it tastes good too. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, it's good. Well, for the heck of it, why don't we add a little bit of the fish sauce? Mm. It's really hot. I cannot put too much. Mm. Excuse the sound. Now <laughs> oh, I will enjoy my food. See you next time.